Go Hello, on. what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, today I've got some friends with me. This is Andrew. Me and Andrew went to primary school together, secondary school together, and uh, he's into running and that. We'll get into it later, but uh, he's brought along some friends. Can you please introduce your snakes? Uh, tell me the names, the breed, the size, etc. So we have two snakes with us today. As Zach's holding, this is a boa constrictor. She's about six years old. Turn to the bowl to the up, bro. She's about nine foot long, weighs about 20 kilograms. What? Yeah, so I've had her since she was about 12 inches long. Yeah, and then <laughs> <laughs> she feeds on like rats and large yeah. guinea pigs and sometimes rabbits. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah. These are both females, and then this is the Burmese python. Hey, she's a bit longer. Get a little She's close over this one. 13 foot long. She yes. weighs about 35 kilograms. She's 13 foot long. She's she's an albino. She's um she's, originally from around she's Thailand fit. and yeah. uh, around Cambodia. Burma. Vietnam. Yeah, Burma, Vietnam, that Southeast Asia yeah. region. And what's Zach's holding here here? She's from originally from around Colombia and South America. So she's a yeah. red tail boa constrictor. Usually the tail is a bit red. The tail's but lovely. Yeah, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically all muscle. It's a yeah. it's strong. It feels like just one big strong muscle, strong. and it can tense, it can untense. It's yeah. quite crazy how how they're in control of themselves. My um, what are the names? I actually haven't named them. Never, I've never really. Been, no, I've never <laughs> named them. Really. Wow. Yeah. Why is that? So I haven't got right. <laughs> is that a zero point five or yeah. one, bro? I haven't. You must get. You must give them little nicknames. No, not really. I just, I've never thought to really. Um, this is the Colombian. This one's the Burmese. Yeah. So I yeah, red tail Colombian boa constrictor and the albino <sighs> Burmese python. They're both females. So females actually grow longer than males when it comes to snakes. Not yeah. the only Colombian I've spent time with over the last twelve months. <laughs> <laughs> but what, right, question for um, two. How long have you owned these? And uh, and is this your first time owning them? So I've owned the red tail Colombian boa constrictor since I was about 16 years old. So which is this one? About nine years. So I got it when she was a baby. She's about 12 inches wow. long. Um, so this one, I've had it for a bit less time. So I probably had it since I was about 20. So I've had it around five years. I got it when she was about 12 inches long as well. And obviously. They grow, grow a lot, quite fast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what size is that? So this one's around 13 foot long, and it can keep growing. The, mo the more you feed them, the, the longer they, they grow. And have you and got any weights? So she's about 35 kilograms. Wow. What's, the, weight, what's the biggest known um, boa? The longest known around about 25 foot. Down, really? It's all, no, it's, it's all good. Okay. They can grow, they can grow um, a lot longer in captivity Please. than in the wild. Yeah. And um, the longest boa constrictor, you can get up to about 15 foot. Jeez. She's, um, she's about nine foot. She's about nine now. So yeah, she's, she's pretty old. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> she's not that old, but she's... This one loves yeah. strangling you, man. <laughs> That's just sad. Yeah. So, most people, when they're buying pets, they go for cats, they go for dogs. What made you want to go for snakes? Well, Especially I've, ones of these magnitude. I've always been interested in reptiles since I was a young boy, since watching Steve Irwin. So Steve Irwin was a big inspiration mm -hmm. yeah. to me as, as a child. And RIP. I've always, yeah, rest in peace Steve Irwin. I've always mm -hmm. been fascinated by big reptiles and I always wanted uh, reptiles when I was young and my mom and dad would never allow me to purchase them. So I just brought them back to mind and <laughs> dealt with it then. That's incredible. Yeah. I've had other snakes before these, so I've owned okay. corn snakes, um, royal pythons. We've had milk snakes. Yeah, but these, any poisonous um, ones? Sorry. Any poisonous ones? No, no, no poisonous ones yet. <laughs> but, <laughs> Next um, <laughs> but yeah, um, they make great pets. You'd think they'd be slimy, but they're actually um, very soft and tender. Yeah. yeah. They make an excellent pets. Mm -hmm. Easy to look after. Yeah. You know, yeah, some crazy. people would sit and stroke a dog. You know, would you do that with a snake or not really? Not really. So they tend to um, not like too much attention. They like to do their own thing beyond their own they're like solitary animals so yeah. yeah i tend to only get them out um now and then not too often so i feed them every three to four weeks Is so that, uh, yeah, yeah so they can actually they can actually survive a long time in the wild wow. so in the wild they're like ambush predators so they actually like to stay by themselves and they don't want to burn too many calories by moving around too much, too much. so they tend to like hide by trees and ambush their prey 
Yeah. Yeah. And another question I got for you is, is it expensive to keep these as pets? You know, it must be expensive to purchase all the ra the rabbits. Is that what you think? Yes, yeah, so I'll buy them frozen rabbits. So I've got a freezer in my garage full of frozen frozen rabbits and rodents. And um, the startup costs are expensive for the vivarium because they, they're, they're housed in like a big wooden and glass vivarium. But apart from that, they're not, not very expensive to look after. I assume a dog would cost more feeding it food. And oh, once you've got the vivarium, that's more, it really. Once you've got it, you, obviously you've got to pay energy for heating. Yeah. But apart from that, they're, that's um, expensive, then. they're quite, they're quite, they make good pets and they're quite easy to maintain. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Like you said, you can leave them alone for a while. Yeah, you can go like, on holiday as long as they got water. So, um, in the wild, what is these snakes? What are these snakes' natural diets? So, in whatever they, they can get their hands on. So yeah, they're, they're, they're carnivores. So and they're constricting animals. So they oh, swallow really. the animal whole. So when they ambush their their prey, they actually bite it and they coil around it, and um, they kill their prey by suffocation. So every time the prey goes to breathe, they constrict, and then the prey is eventually asphyxiates, so it actually suffocates on itself, and then the, the snake then swallows the prey whole. It's got acid in its stomach and elasticated jaw, Yeah. so it just keeps on swallowing, and then the acid in its stomach dissolves the, the prey, and then they can, um, once they swallow the prey, they usually don't move too much, because they've got to let their prey digest in the stomach. Take how long? So we to... can do that very quick and um, it disrupts the um, digestion. So we, we, once we feed the snake, we don't like to touch it or mess around with it. We have to leave, we have to leave it by itself to, mm. um, so it can digest it. And then How long does it take to digest? Like a big rabbit? Depending rabbits? on the size of the, the prey. Like the bigger, a rabbit? The bigger the rabbit, the, um, the, the longer it will take to digest. And um, So humans, when we grow our skin stretches, a snake on the other hand, it sheds its skin. Oh yeah. So when it grows, once it's ate a big food, it'll it's then shed well, its bro. skin. It'll then shed its skin and it'll have a new nice coat. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And we know a snake's about to shed when its eyes, its eyes turn like a milky blue color. Oh yeah. And its skin starts to become like a dark color. Is this one's eyes turn in a milky blue? No, no, we don't like, to, when it's when it's in shed mode, we don't like to touch them, we, li we like to leave them. Oh yeah, to shed. Leave them alone, so you don't, don't want to um, harass them too much. Nice. Yeah. I'm liking this experience. I wanted to ask, do you think there are any miscon misconceptions on snakes? So, um, I've, yeah, I've noticed some people are quite intimidated by them because obviously um, they're a bit unusual animals, aren't they? And people look at them and think they might be aggressive or violent, but... They're not the I'm, normal domesticated yeah, animal. I've never really, as long as you treat them with respect and you've, yeah. you've got to understand this is a wild creature. Mm -hmm. You've got to treat it with respect and look after it and they're intelligent animals, so... You know I mean they can they can get neglected by mm. some um, owners, so you look after them, yeah. treat them with respect, and understand that they are they are a, a wild animal. Wow. And you don't want to um, interrupt it too much. Absolutely but you've got to, you've got to treat it. You got to look after it. And yeah. Yeah. Show respect. Yeah. Feed definitely. it properly. Make sure they're in the, the right environment, the right temperatures. Make sure the humidity of the tank is yeah. at the right percentage of humidity. Yeah. Make sure the temperature is right. Make sure the temperature at night time is on a thermostat so it cools down at night time and it's hotter in the day, like it's natural habitat. And yeah, look after them. Yeah. Make good pets. Sick. Um, oh yeah, right. Have you ever thought or do you have a YouTube or a TikTok where you feed them? I've or actually, have you considered it? I've made a few videos on YouTube before um, about feeding them. That can be our next video. We'll um, yeah. make a video of us feeding them. Like when I, I'll get some rabbits defrosted and um, yeah, we can make some good videos. When are you next thinking of feeding them? Because like you said, it could be a few weeks at a time. Well, she hasn't eaten a few weeks, so they should be, they should be hungry. So we'll get some get some good I videos in Monday, the go. That'd be a sick vid, though. Maybe. Yeah, after we come, we'll, 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 we'll message you and we'll, we'll arrange, arrange a video and we'll get some good good shots of the feeding is so it okay yeah. coming up to my face yeah of course yeah, so they've right. actually got elasticated jaw <laughs> hello mate so their heads are, even yeah. though their heads are quite small yeah. you can actually open them out significantly larger than the actual head <clears throat> so you can actually fit like about four or five kilogram rabbits that you in the mouth like wow. a hippo in it yeah so it's gone it's you can open the mouth like really Wide. Yeah. Interesting, and that's all the questions I got. I don't know if Jack or. No, nah, that was sick. Yeah. Yeah. That was sick. 
Jack or my father would like to um, ask any questions or hold the snakes as well. Any questions for Andrew? I think, your dad, needs, no, yeah, I think your dad needs to hold them. I really? think, honestly, Ian, yeah, you need to hold one, mate. I don't want to scare them. Do you want to give it a stroke? Uh, <laughs> go and give it a stroke. Is that strong? Oh, you know this, sir. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, get some photos, man. So you can hold them both. Oh, me. Yeah, try and... It is fascinating, because... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they don't even look real, do they? They look fake. No. Right. Especially Sorry. that yellow hold one. The, hold that one's head out there. Mm. Yeah. Do you want me to get some pics, bro, and pause this vid? I'll probably do the outro now. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on then. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. Where's this guy's head? <sighs> Right guys, that has been an interesting experience. Thank you so much, Andrew, for bringing your snakes More around. You're welcome. And uh, this is something I've never really got to experience. I've saw snakes about. I've maybe held one before. This is completely different. <laughs> you know, in Mexico, people people charge for this and it's not quite the same experience. This is incredible. Yeah. She looking a bit dodgy there, you know? Yeah, okay. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>